So Dr. Rick Amon from the College of Eastern Idaho is here with us. Uh, we were just talking before we started rolling that you are one of the only people on campus. Is it kind of like a ghost town? It is, it is so strange. It, it, when you think about what happened three weeks ago and where we are today, it is immensely different. Yeah, tell me about some of the major differences there. Well, well, we uh, had known probably four weeks, uh, I'm sorry, four, uh, yeah, four weeks ago that we should begin to move all of our classes from the campus into online. And uh, we, we actually did that pretty well. So about two weeks ago, we had all of our gen ed courses fully online and um, been working with some of those tricky classes like um, uh, nursing clinicals, for example, and some welding machine tool, the trades. We had a pretty, uh, a, a pretty good move of those gen ed classes into an online environment. Mm -hmm. And how have the faculty and staff adjusted to that? You know, most adjusted extraordinarily well. So if, if um, you remember, we are relatively new. So a lot of our gen ed faculty in particular were hired at the start of College of Eastern Idaho. So one of the things we always knew would be important as we hire would be the ability to deliver online or be comfortable with instructional technology. So uh, the dividends are being paid right now with a faculty who understand that and have embraced it. Yeah. So we know that, you know, large gatherings are done away with. Did that affect your graduation coming up here? Yeah. What, in just a few weeks or even days? But, well, no, it, it, would, uh, it would have been planned for May 8th. May, and, okay. And it, it was canceled. We, we, we knew uh, early on that um, a, a large group like that wouldn't, it, it just wouldn't be possible to do no. graduation. So that's been canceled. Did, was there a large number of uh, people, of students enrolled for the summer president that, that maybe now things have shifted at all? Have you seen any changes with the summer classes? You know, Nate, the, the strange thing is, I, and I don't exactly know how this has happened, but we track registrations year to date. So as of this date last year, we have more enrolled students than last year. Hmm. We, again, relatively early, probably three weeks ago, decided to move all of our summer classes online. And I think we're reaping a benefit of early, uh, describing that early, uh, marketing that early. So all of the students now know that summer is fully online and we're actually up. Wow, that's probably a trend that some universities might not be seeing, but one that hopefully is a positive outlook. Uh, well, it, you know, it, it's positive for us. We're, we're really glad that we did that. We're glad to see that we're up and it is, it's up bet at least 20%. Now, summers are never heavy anyway, but we, it's a very positive, um, um, kind of a, a, a positive, po positive sequence. Yeah, now we know that with CEI, you're not facing challenges like housing, you know, situations, you know, where you have housing complexes, housing thousands of students like BYUI or ISU, but are there other unique challenges that you guys have had to overcome or are still working to face? Being relatively new, we don't have the sports uh, complexity, the housing complexity, the, those kind of things. The, the real challenge for us, because we were a technical college, would be moving those classes that traditionally are face-to-face -face and hands-on and trying to determine how to complete those students without that hands-on uh, phase. So nursing clinicals become a real challenge. I see, yeah. Uh... So what do you foresee economically for the college? I know it's somewhat early. Do you see, though, a major hit when, when all of this is settled? It, it is just impossible to tell. Fall is going to be important to us. I don't know if we're going to have students on campus in fall. We, we would like to go back to normal but we, we don't know. Um, I think all eight of us in Idaho and nine, if we count BYUI, 
are just not sure. And, and uh, I think we all would expect some decline in enrollment over last year. Mm -hmm. All right. Is there anything that you want to add, President, that we didn't touch on? You know, one of the things, again, we, we are very sympathetic for students who didn't expect this. So we have a, a, a laptop loaner program. A lot of students didn't expect to have to take their classes at home. So we, uh, we have put that in place and are trying to get uh, laptops to our students who don't have them. And additionally, a lot of students may not have uh, Wi-Fi at home. So we actually put a, a wireless router on one of our buildings out in the parking lot. And if a student needs, uh, needs access to a wireless router, they can come into our parking lot and use our student login and have access. Because the buildings are closed to students, they can't come in and use our labs. So we're doing everything we can to really help students complete the semester. It's, it's really important. They, they have selected us as their um, you know, education choice and we're really working with them. We, we have backed up the drop, the, drop day, uh, the drop date as well. So a number of things to try to help those students have a successful completion to, to um, spring semester. Yeah, that Wi-Fi can be vital if, if you don't have it at home, if you don't have the internet. And like you mentioned, if you don't have a computer, that, that can scare a student who hears that the class is moving online. And, and they don't have a choice. We're, we're doing everything we can to help them complete. Yeah. Uh, Rick, do you happen to know off the top of your head how many students are enrolled in summer? I don't, but I can send that to you when we get off, uh, off the air. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. Okay, let me do that. All right. Well, we wish you the best of luck. And uh, these are unchartered and interesting times. You know, this is, this is a time for education where I think a lot of the way we have done business in the past will change. Uh, so we are young enough and I think can pivot uh, into the maybe what would be an, a, a new reality for post-secondary education. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right about that. I think that in five, 10 years, we'll be looking back pre-COVID, past I, you know, it, 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 it's like 9-11, right? The, yep. the world uh, kind of split at that date. And I think the COVID is, is going to do that in a lot of industries. Yeah. All righty, sir. Thank you so much. Hope you stay safe and healthy. Thank you. You too, Nate. All right. See you. Have a good day.